hello and welcome back to the channel. Here's some bananas. This one's been in the freezer and it's old. And it, I think the freezer sped up the aging. Slippery banana. Sounds like someone's high school nickname. Today we're making banana bread. I love banana bread, but with, not with, with your grandma's recipe. It's without any recipe, really. Grandmas don't even write recipes down. Or they have such chicken scratch. I, or it's the cursive back then must have been different because I can never understand it. So this isn't your grandma's recipe. This is more like your cousin, cousin Christine's recipe. And that just means we we never had a clue. We won't find a clue. And we're going to act like the internet doesn't exist. How are we going to look it up? We're going to have to use our best judgment. Yeah, I am cooking a pizza while we film this. Because I'm hungry and the timing. And this is clearly a derivative taken from the Try Guys to do a show called Without a Recipe. I haven't seen too many episodes to actually know the exact format of what they do. So basically, I'm just going to I'm gonna try and make banana bread, I guess, from scratch. Isn't that... Well, how else would you... Is there a banana bread mix? You just add bananas? Well, isn't all banana bread made from scratch? We're already confused. Here's the parameters. I don't have a recipe. I gave myself 30 seconds and went on the internet and just wrote down the ingredients of banana bread. They're written right here. And then I went to the store because I needed a couple of them. I needed bananas for one and I needed baking soda because I couldn't find ours. Besides that, if I don't look at this sheet of paper, I don't exactly know the ingredients that go into banana bread. We're, we're going purely based off of me looking at it two days two days ago one day ago if i really get in a pinch i am allowing myself one glance at this piece of paper that tells me what ingredients i need not how much two if i get really stuck i'm giving myself a lifeline i am allowed to call my mom once and ask her one simple question three if I really feel like I just cannot get it together, I am going to allow myself a 15 second Google search to figure out where I went wrong. Or, you know, why is there pumpkin in the banana bread? We didn't even, we don't even own a pumpkin. Where did that even come from? <laughs> With that, let's get started. I wanna make some delicious chocolatey pumpkin bread. Chocolatey pumpkin bread. Why did I say pumpkin? So stupid. I just said chocolatey banana pumpkin bread. I just said chocolatey banana pumpkin bread. <laughs> No, I didn't. I said chocolatey pumpkin bread. And then when I watched it while editing the first time, I just said it was chocolatey banana pumpkin bread. I know, I, that's not what I said. I said it wrong the first time. Said it wrong when I was editing it the first time. This is the second time I'm editing the video. I don't, what are, I, do I not understand what the words <laughs> that are coming out of my mouth? I don't even know if we have a banana bread tin, like a bread tin. I thought we had one. I don't know where it is. We'll dig for it later. Also, I tried the Dunkin', like, they said they brought the salted caramel cold brew back. When did you have it before? Did I try it? Because I don't remember. It was like pretty dark and then all the foam went down. It's pretty good. I like it. I know. We had these bananas and then my mom threw them in the freezer to keep, oh my God, they're so mushy. And then I had to get two new ones because I was like, how many bananas do you need? Do I need a mixer? Oh, and the fr freezer frost is coming off of them. What? And this is part of the skin. Yeesh. Let's do all four of the bananas. Oh, this one's mushy as hell. Give me your skin. The summer. I think if you make banana bread with not overly ripe bananas, it's like drier or it's not as crumbly. Maybe I'll put a little fact check thing at the bottom. Like that's incorrect. What if banana bread was just like a loaf of bread with like a literally a banana just running through it? <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure from when I was looking at the recipe for 30 seconds, the words cup and a half of flour stood out to me. What does flour do? Baking soda makes it rise. Well, where's the yeast in bread to make it rise? Where are we getting yeast from? It wasn't on the list, I remember that. Yeast. Does the baking soda activate? Maybe it says on here. It's used for cooking and baking, health and beauty, fresh pet, cleaning and deodorizing, day Wait, Wow, baking soda used for everything. There's, is this flour as well? What is this? One time with Steven, who's on this channel for the Can't See, Can't Hear Baking Challenge, him and I got in an argument, like either in high school when we met or like right out of high school. Couldn't decide if his mom made better banana bread or my mom made better banana bread. How can I tell? And all we did was just verbally argue. Okay. None of us even had our moms make banana bread so we could do like a taste test. I've only had my mom make banana bread like twice. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to pat down flour. You don't like pack it in. Don't you just level it off? That seems like one. I'm not even gonna get a half cup. That looks like half. One and a half of the flour in the bowl. That's one ingredient, down. I got 20 seconds left on my pizza. Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Is the pizza for you and me. Crab pizza is the pizza. Not even cooked, not even close to being cooked. 
How much time? My mom's getting these new pizzas called lots of matzo pizza, and lots of matzo must mean lots of matzo, not a whole lots of melting, because it, it takes forever to cook these. I know you put vanilla in it. It's probably one teaspoon of vanilla. When do you ever taste vanilla in banana bread? But I really like uh, vanilla, so I'm gonna put two. Two teaspoons. Banana bread, don't you just make it all in a bowl? It's not like dry ingredients, wet ingredients. Ins, ins. The only wet ingredient would be the vanilla, or the bananas. Which brings us to sugar. I know sugar goes into a bread. I don't know how much sugar is in this container. Probably like at least four cups. And when I was looking for the ingredients to make sure we had everything, I was like, there's a lot of sugar in here. We'll definitely have enough sugar and I don't need to buy a new package to replace it for my mom. So it's definitely not four cups of sugar. If we put a cup and a half of flour, it's probably a cup of sugar. Oh, and the, there's a scoop in here as well. Mama Snaps just says scoops everywhere. God, a cup of sugar sounds like a lot. It's a cup, it's a three fourths? This would be a boring video if I got it all correct. But then again, maybe my memory's not as bad as I think it is. Dude, dude I probably made banana bread like three times. What did I put the timer on for? Five more minutes? Okay, that's fine. We have bananas, flour, vanilla, sugar. Do you put water in banana bread? I know we need baking soda and we need water. This is open? Did I buy this from a store? Who, do, who opened this? Oh, I swear I bought baking soda from a store. Is that because I couldn't find any? No, maybe there was. I didn't buy any baking soda. Oh my god, my memory. Maybe my memory's not as bad as I think it is. I didn't buy baking soda from the store because I would have had to find it in the grocery store and I don't know where it is besides in the baking section. We'll do a tablespoon of baking soda because I think that's what makes it rise. And if you have like four bananas to one tablespoon of baking soda and also like a cup and a half of flour to a little bit of baking soda. There's the baking soda. Vanilla. I thought like there was a sixth, uh, there's like a sixth thing. It's either six or seven ingredients. What am I missing? Think. No, salt. M salt? I'm gonna put water in here. Cause there's just not enough liquid. The only liquid is the vanilla. I'm gonna put, well, I'm gonna put a half cup of water. Cause it can be like super liquidy because it bakes into a, that's fine. I'm gonna try and mix this. Do I want to look at the ingredient sheet or do I want to call my mom or do a Google search? I'm gonna call mama snaps. Who knows what she's doing? Hey, I'm filming a YouTube video and you're on the channel. I'm trying to make banana bread without looking at the recipe or the ingredients. Yeah. What are the ingredients in a banana bread? I'm using you as one of my resources, like my lifeline. Uh, flour, uh, bana mushed bananas. Okay. You can put some vanilla. You can add some walnuts if I have any. Oh, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips, uh, I forgot chocolate chips, okay. It's probably like egg or Sure, egg. I don't know what other liquid there be because your banana's gonna be moist. Did you take the bananas out of the freezer and thaw them? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, you gotta mush them, so you gotta make sure they're like, Do you want me to look at them? No, you. I just need you to go off of your. I, I, I didn't put an egg in. I'm gonna. Um, don't tell me how many eggs. I'm gonna. I don't. I don't think you put an egg in banana bread. Okay, uh -huh. if you're saying egg, we'll go with an egg. Well, you need it's already to pretty liquidy. Okay, a bread. Bread is like flour and butter. Okay. Something butter? Sugar. Butter and brown sugar, maybe? Butter? Well, butter your pan, at least okay, before you... Why do you think um, an egg goes in? Do you put egg in normal bread? No, but you're making it... It's kind of cake breadish, isn't it? Cake you breadish. Thank you so... I feel like the con we've been on for two minutes. I feel like I need to get off. Thank you so okay. much. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. She wants to put an egg? I don't think you put eggs in banana bread. Also, what did she say? Butter? I gotta check the pizza. Oh, still not ready. <laughs> don't put butter in a banana bread. But she didn't even say sugar. We're gonna melt like a teaspoon of butter. I mean, the sound alone. That don't sound like banana bread. <laughs> I forgot the chocolate chips. I did, I did. Chocolate chips, semi-sweet, I think that's correct. Let's do one egg because I don't believe her. Although I did need eggs for something. Cause I was like, do I need to get the eggs? I was like, no, we have enough. So was it for this? We lost the spoon in the thing. What is like so ch brown and chunky in here? Is it the bananas? Going in. I just assume you need the whole egg. The pizza timer again. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this egg. This egg refuses to be part of the recipe. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Looks like quicksand. Now I do remember when I was writing down the ingredients, I wrote down 10, 60, and 70, because it was at the top of the recipe, and I think it was like 10 minutes to prep. What's the 60, 70? 60 to bake, 70 to rest? 
I don't know what the 60, maybe it was 60 minutes to put it together 10 ingredients, but I didn't write down 10 things. Oh, the pizza's done done, my guy. Oh, oh we're gonna take a second to pivot because I got something hot in front. Oh, it's hot. And that's on pizza. Lots of matzo. Sponsor me, that's hot. I think this has to be all the ingredients. There, I, We didn't miss anything. We'll put the chips in last. Oh, there's stuff on the ground. All right. Mixer acquired. I must have kept my hands on here when I turned it on. I mean, safety 101. If this hand's holding the mixer, get this hand out of there. You're just gonna wanna mix all your ingredients. We want a smooth consistency. I like how my mom was like, did you thaw the bananas that were in the freezer? Yeah, if you mean leaving them out for 10 seconds as thawing, I sure did. I feel like that's pretty darn good. I don't know, I mean, like a cup? Four bananas to a one cup chocolate ratio. That sounds good to me. If anything, the chocolate chips are gonna save it. I don't know why I'm getting like a ladle out. Evenly disperse it. Do you do, you, you, there's no way that you put salt in banana bread, right? We gotta find a tin to bake it in. And I don't know where that would be. Dishes. Does my mom not want me to break these? Now we're hiding the good dishes. Banana bread tray. I'm sure you're supposed to pam it down. How much? How much is this gonna rise? Like, do I put it all in? What if it rises a lot and like overflows? So when we did the biscuit thing, that overflowed. Banana nanners. That doesn't look bad at all. Now I have no idea what temperature it bakes at. So I think I'm gonna take my 15 second Google and I'm gonna look at the temperature. Okay, ready? What temperature do you bake banana bread at? 42.05? No, 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 no. How long does it take to bake bread? No, 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 no. How fast? No. Is my time up fix? Oh, uh, 15, 12, one, uh, blah, 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 blah. How? I think my time's up. Where the hell's the recipe? Why is all this shit in here? Where's the fucking recipe? Why is there so many ads? No, no. Where is the stupid thing? Preheat oven, 60 minutes. No, but how, how? This is way more than 15. I can't even find a answer. One inch, one hour. All right. It bakes for an hour? In what world? Is that what the 60 was on that sheet? What are we gonna bake it at? Should we bake it at 400? 380, 380. Don't you cook a pizza at 425? 400 is what I cook my like chicken tenders on. 380 for a little banana bread loaf? Sure, let's do that. We'll know what a half hour, if it's supposed to cook another half hour. Like if it's still raw, we'll know that. 380 sounds like not the right temp, but it sounds like a nice medium. I really don't know what five, 10 degrees more does to something that's baking. I have no idea. It's all happening in the same box, so I don't really understand. For the sake of just looking at what I possibly could have mixed, I'm gonna look at the ingredients list. I, it's not gonna help me now. Butter, bananas, baking soda, sugar, egg, water, flour. Does that say water? Oh my God, I did it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With the chocolate chips. Oh, vanilla, no water. Okay, well I just switched out my butter for water. It's gonna be a healthier banana bread. This is a healthier option to your normal everyday banana bread. I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna eat my pizza and we'll, we'll check on it. We'll dabble. I just feel like butter's really not that important of an ingredient. It's just not gonna be like, Buttery bread, it's just gonna be a little watery bread. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine, what are you gonna do? Okay, this is the 30 minute mark. Oh my God, it looks like a bread. Well, I was a little skeptical at the 15. Look at that, that looks like a loaf. Ooh, it smells banana-y. We'll do the toothpick check. You stick a toothpick in, if it comes out clean, then you're good to go. Look at the jiggle on this thing, you can't even touch it. No. It's so jiggly. Do at least another 15 and then we'll check out. Okay, that was another 15. So it's been baking for 45 minutes. And the top of it is cracked, my guy. It looks like the crust is way done. The middle is so soggy. Like it's not cooked at all. It's literally liquefied in the middle. What? You know, the hardest part was the cooking part. I don't know what to do besides crank. Crank the temp down to 350 and just the top's gonna be burnt. We're gonna have to deal with a burnt top because it's gotta cook. I can't eat it when it's raw. Ugh. I'm gonna do another 10 and the top might just be like burnt as hell and we'll have to we'll have to deal. Cause you saw it split. Why was it splitting? Is it too hot? Is it baking too fast? I have no, I have no idea. <laughs> 
looks the same. Ten more. And I'm going to turn the... The temp was at 350. I'm going to bump it back up to 380. Ten minutes. I might burn the shit out of it. Or we'll finally get it done. It looks done to me. I'm like, done, done. Even the top is like bubbled through. Oh, it's stiff like bran. Okay, look at me. Who needs recipes? Looks extra crispy on top, but I mean, that's done. Baked all the way through, a little caramelized, crystallized on top. I think you're supposed to let it sit in a pan, so I'm gonna let it sit over here. Should we look at the real recipe while we're here? I found the recipe that I saw originally. Prep time, 10 minutes. Cook time, 60. Total time, 70. So 70 meant nothing. <laughs> no need for a mixer for this recipe. I even got the mixer wrong. You need two to three medium bananas. I used four. A third cup of butter. A third cup? Unsalted, melted. A third cup? <gasps> You need a half a teaspoon of baking soda? I use a tablespoon. A pinch of salt, nobody cares about that. Three fourths cup sugar. I think we used a cup of sugar. This is gonna be really sweet. One large egg beaten, there you go. One teaspoon vanilla extract I put in two, I did it on purpose, one and a half cups of flour. Okay, so our biggest problem is we put one more banana, not enough butter, nah, way too much baking soda, and I put in water. Mine was hella liquidy. I'm looking at the picture. There still looks a lot thicker than mine does. All we gotta do is try it. This bread just kept baking. <laughs> now the top of it's kind of burnt. How do we look? It smells kind of like a goat farm. Why does it smell so bad? Oh my God, it just looks like a black chunk. I'm hoping it's this dark because it's the chocolate chips. It smells like goat feed. Like the crust on the outsides are chewy and then the inside is like unsettlingly mushy. And there's a lot of chips in here. Was that too many chocolate chips? This recipe is supposed to bake it for an hour at 350. So we ramped up the baking time. The inside is like spongy. The water, too much wetness. The, I think the overall conclusion is that I've tasted better, but I could have done worse. And that's good enough for me. That's a success in this kitchen. Oh! That's fine, okay? Let me know if you want me to do another one of these. Let me know. This was kind of like a mix of doing the Try Guys uh, cooking without a recipe mixed with like who wants to be a millionaire because there's like the lifelines. You could call somebody and <laughs> ask questions. We could be who wants to be a baker? Who wants to be in the kitchen? Who wants to be in the kitchen? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll see you next time on your cousin Christine's recipes. <laughs> who wants to be a baker? All right, folks. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Good night. <laughs>